RepairsUniverse.com Today we'll be disassembling the Motorola Moto G 2nd generation. The tools we'll use today are a T5 Torx screwdriver, a pair of fine tip curve tweezers, a nylon spudger, and a plastic opening tool. We will begin by using a plastic opening tool to pry the back housing from the device. With the back housing now removed, we can see the T5 Torx screws. There are four at the top and four at the bottom, which are the same size, and then six running along the sides. With the screws now removed, we will lift the midframe from the device. We will set aside the power and volume buttons so we don't lose them. We'll use a nylon spudger to disconnect the battery. We'll use a nylon spudger to lift the proximity sensor flex. We'll pry out the vibrate motor. We'll use a nylon spudger to remove the SIM and micro SD tray. We'll now peel off the adhesive copper shielding. With the shielding now removed, we can use a spudger to gently pry the battery from the back of the LCD. We'll disconnect the LCD connection, use a spudger to lift the clasp, and then gently remove the ribbon. We'll use a spudger to disconnect the front facing camera, and we'll use a nylon spudger to disconnect the proximity sensor. Remove the three screws holding the motherboard into place. Lift the motherboard from the back of the LCD. With the motherboard now removed, we can remove the rear facing camera. We'll peel back the adhesive holding the rear camera in place, and then disconnect the camera. With the motherboard now removed, we will remove the front facing camera. Remove the loudspeaker. And we'll remove the top loudspeaker. We'll remove the proximity sensor. Gently pry the ribbon loose. We will begin reassembly by installing the proximity sensor. Press the top loudspeaker back into place. 
and then the same for the bottom. Replace the front facing camera. Reconnect the rear facing camera and smooth out the adhesive tape. With the rear facing camera now installed, we'll reinstall the motherboard. Replace the three small screws holding the motherboard in place. Reinstall the front facing camera. And reconnect the proximity sensor. Reinsert the LCD ribbon and close the clasp. Reinstall the battery. Remember to replace the adhesive copper shielding. Replace the flex that contains the SIM card reader, the SD card reader, and the vibrate motor. Reconnect the flex and reseat the vibrate motor. Reseat the volume button. Make sure the black tab is facing up. And we'll reinstall the power button the same way. With the buttons now installed, we will replace the mid frame. Reinstall all 10 screws. Remember the four on top and four on bottom are the slightly larger screws and the six along the side are slightly smaller. All screws on this device are T5 Torx. We'll now reinstall the back cover. And there we have another successful teardown from RepairsUniverse.com. All of the parts and tools used today are available at RepairsUniverse.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter.